The aviation industry never sleeps, and those words couldn't be ushered more during this festive period, with the catastrophic meltdown of Southwest, one of the US's most essential and flown airlines on a daily basis. It's been hard to avoid the headlines, but what's actually been happening? Subscribe to Globetrotting today, over 80% of our viewers have not. A system-wide computer outage, as best described by the airline themselves, has sparked the beginnings of the crisis, with Southwest left incapable of completing essential services on Christmas Day, and of course, the days prior to that, we saw a severe winter storm make its way through the US, also causing travel chaos. So the events involving Southwest couldn't have come at a worse time. Thousands of flights have been cancelled, and most of the daily cancellations of US airlines have come from Southwest. Only yesterday, they cancelled 71% of their schedule, according to Flight Aware, and made note that this would only continue, with the decreased network potentially being extended if they believe necessary. An outage was what Southwest labelled as the initial cause of flights across the country being halted. However, it ultimately became a far more significant problem, with lines at airports stretching around the grounds, and with the miscommunication at key hubs, Southwest staff were inundated, with no compensation being handed out to some passengers and paired with the inability to rebook onto flights during what is a very important travel period, has left frequent Southwest customers and general travellers alike frustrated as you would imagine. This is a problem that, according to many, needs investment investigating thoroughly, but also resolving, so this doesn't happen again. Transparency in these situations is critical, and Southwest has severely lacked that during this period, whether it be because of shortages or for a host of other reasons, like misunderstanding the problem or not publicly owning up. As a result, the customers that have been affected have been clueless, with flights cancelled without notice. Some, in fact, heading to the airport, not knowing that their flight had been cancelled at all. The issue is far more deep-rooted than a simple systems crash or potentially multiple things coming together to cause the airline's downfall in recent days. Outstanding investigations and pieces are readily available that highlight Southwest's dated system that leaves them prone to such errors. As we know in the industry, it is imperative to have technology in place that is suitable but also robust in any case of, say, an error appearing so it doesn't take down the entire airline. Even one minor hiccup can send an airline spiralling out of control and the way the industry works, one problem turns into several hundred and then it's a set of dominoes. CNN's analysis highlighted that very thing, noting that the systems have needed an overhaul for some time, and Southwest are really only to blame for such a thing. It's a business model that works, but can have hugely impactful repercussions if something goes wrong. Staff shortages are another area, and yes, we know you hate hearing it, and we do too, but that's the unfortunate reality of executives' decisions to offload staff during the pandemic, and then demand for air travel in multiple markets return far quicker than most of us expected. It leaves an airline like Southwest, which requires tens of thousands for positions, understaffed, and the staff that are still there are massively under pressure. It's like putting 100 people on a kid's trampoline. Sure, yes, it may hold for a little bit, but everyone knows deep down it doesn't work and it will snap at some point. And that is what has happened at Southwest for not the first time. In roles across the board, even down to communication over the massive crisis, there just isn't enough staff and airlines are struggling to get people to work for them. Southwest also has generally alluded to crucial issues inside the company again, only heightening the criticism that they're facing as a global airline, issuing quite the statement that will be linked below in the sources area of the description, noting that the storm, as I mentioned, the winter storm, was the cause of the majority of the impact. Yes, that definitely impacted the hubs and their operations, but they were generally also ignoring some of the critical internal issues at the company. Therefore, it's a statement that lacks transparency and only increases customers' annoyance at the company. While Southwest make headlines now, it's important to remember that this isn't the first time the US carrier has emerged in headlines for a similar reason. Back in 2021, thousands of flights were cancelled across an almost week-long period. 
and at this point, bad weather was also blamed. However, later the airline admitted that staff shortages were one of the key catalysts. As reported by many reputable publications, it was the beginning of a much bigger problem at the airline, and one that is also being widely felt across the industry. Carriers have removed too many employees while they downsize the business, and now they can't keep up. With airlines not offering attractive pay and or benefits, they're struggling to find available employees that want to work for them in such a demanding environment. It's a very real problem, and it's affecting every single market. The pin, however, as you could say, has just dropped on Southwest in the past couple of days. A winter storm, outdated technology, a tight schedule, staff shortages, a lack of communication, and a lack of transparency, plus a whole lot more, has unfolded in recent days and caused Southwest to be in quite the crisis, with headlines appearing left, right, and center, and even the President of the United States getting involved on the situation. What are your thoughts? Are you a frequent Southwest customer? Have you seen this coming? Or maybe were you impacted by the cancellations? Let us know down below in the comments your thoughts. We always love to hear from you and see the dialogue that happens down there. Thanks for watching and until the next video, do take care. Have a very lovely and safe end to 2022 and we'll see you soon.